portion based restriction. The next method of changing our eating that I'm going to talk about is portion sizes, looking probably at reducing the size of certain portions of certain things that we eat or approaching our eating in a way where we look to create that calorie deficit or whatever other marker of forward progress we are choosing by looking at portion sizes. And this is great. It's a perfectly valid method of approaching it. Again, there's only so much precision in it without a bit of data behind it. If we're just kind of guessing and we're just attempting to reduce how much we eat, there's a reasonable chance it might go the way of previous attempts to do that. If we use tracking to get an understanding of what different portion sizes of different foods look like for us, our body size, composition and activity levels, then we can use that approach far more effectively going forward. We may have a set rule around that. People often put off the idea of rules because it sounds restrictive. A great way to look at rules is a set framework that we can work within that does not create restriction, it creates the exact opposite. It creates a body and energy levels and mood and health and fitness and endurance that we like more. It doesn't restrict our body, it lets us be more of what we want to be. And we may have a rule around the size of certain portions that we have. We may look for to buy smaller portions of the same thing. We may look to split existing meals into two. We may look just to make less of it. But again, whatever that approach is, it needs to be underpinned by a calorie deficit, if weight loss is our goal, and that few days of tracking will give us that knowledge and data going forward. And then we may use portion size control in maybe conjunction with other methods to create an ongoing approach that we find more maintainable.